Local News at 5:30. A bill that would create a statewide policy for transgender students is moving through the General Assembly. Opponents consider it an attack on their religion. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco has a look at the debate from Capitol Square. Michael and Lisa Hera are people of faith. Our child is loved by God. Their daughter is transgender. She asked them to begin using female pronouns about two years ago. You're recognizing them and saying that I see you and I, I care about you and I understand. A bill just passed by the Senate could give public schools guidance on how to identify transgender students. It would also address how to prevent bullying and handle the use of school facilities like locker rooms. The executive director of Equality Virginia says it will streamline school board policies statewide. This is really important because right now we know that LGBT students are disproportionately discriminated against, experience high rates of bullying and harassment. They're not coming to school. The Virginia Department of Education policy will line up with non-discrimination laws. Several bills advancing in the General Assembly add protections for the LGBTQ community, a concern for the Southern Baptist Convention of Virginia. What the Bible does not say is that our gender identity is something that we can choose. Some say these bills don't do enough to protect religious freedom for people like Peter Vlaming. In essence, I was being required to show adherence to the belief that my female student actually was a boy. The former high school French teacher is currently suing the West Point school system after he was fired for refusing to use a student's preferred pronouns. That would be a violation of my conscience. Now the Senate passed a bill to create transgender student policies after amending it to not include athletics. That means it has to go back to the full house for a vote before it can be signed by Governor Ralph Northam. And if the bill becomes law, school boards have until the 2021-2022 school year to adopt the Virginia Department of Education policy. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.